goodness. <laughs> now, when I knew you guys were going to be here at the same time, I was like, this is going to be fun. Because y'all, not only have you grown up to be beautiful divas around the world, helping the children, spreading love, giving fame a good name, but honey, y'all have had some adventures together yes, through the years. Now, how did you guys first meet? In the yeah, you 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 can say. I mean, in the really in the New York clubs, early nineties, ninety one, I think it was. We we locked eyes. Yeah. Basically, and we knew that, that we were going to be friends forever. That was it. Forever. And we were put against one another for Monofoot Star Search back in the day. Wow. And <laughs> that was it. After that, we're like, we will never compete against. I lost. Again. She, <laughs> she was. She was. Eighteen it was weeks. Like Eighteen it was, weeks in yeah, a row or something. Yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy. And she was probably like in the maybe the fourth week or fifth week. I know that was my first time doing no, but, it. But I'm saying like, oh, like I was yeah, in, okay. like the fourth, and then it went up to the 18th, and then Mona moved. Um, star Stitch over to the pyramid, and then they offered me a night, and that's when I did started to swirl. Wow! And I did that for four years. Now what, let's go back to that time in New York City. It was a like it was a very different time. I mean, yeah. you guys have said in the past that you would get ready all day, and then you'd go out and socialize <laughs> all night, going up to four clubs at a time. It was a really yeah. take me back to that time and what it was like. Well, when we had connected as sisters, we because we were both dancers and we had a very similar background, our family and just everything that it is we went through. We kind of created this whole twin thing, as you knew, and everyone. So, you know, we were like the twins of New York and Europe, where we were like doing runway and doing movies together, and doing it with your sister is everything. So, having that New York experience with your best friend is pretty monumental. We would wake up in the morning at like, probably at like ten, not two. We weren't all day sleepers. No, we weren't. Yeah, we weren't. And and we would go thrifting, and we would, we had like a set. Yes, a, like did. path, a map, <laughs> we, all the really good yep. vintage and thrift stores around the East Village. And we would look at pages of Vogue or Elle and, and we'd be like, it. ooh, we love that look. Let's create that look. And so we go and nine times out of ten, even the same material we'd yeah, find. Yeah, exactly. You know, and, and a lot of times we'd find some of the looks that we'd put together ending up on the runways and then us end up doing the runway. Right. Like the yeah. one thing that we never changed on was shoes and handbags. Yeah. I mean everything else was just like, you know, but that was also New York too. You could do that then. You know, now it's like if you move to New York, forget about it. You have to have a trust fund and lots yeah. of coin. And every there night there was <laughs> every night there was a, something like to do. three yeah. amazing clubs with amazing yeah. music. So you weren't like, oh I have to go there. No, or, you wanted you know, to. You wanted to go there and you and you put that look together yes, all day. You did. So you People were going to all of them. Yes. You did not show up lackluster as no you knew. Crocs it was like back no, now. there was not. It was <laughs> it was all done. And and that was fun. It was like people went for the music and they went for the um the fashion, you know, it was the experience, you know. And if you were doing services or any of those things, <laughs> that was not the situation. Mm. The situation was the coming togetherness and meeting new people. It was exciting. Now, New York at that <clears throat> time was a, a place where you could still be a struggling artist, but live like a star, kind of. Yeah, like, we'd hello. be in tiny apartments totally. that you, you know, you'd be able to <laughs> scrape the mother to the money together to pay totally. for. But you would still, you, and Manhattan was still a place where you could be a struggling artist yeah. and have all of your, you know, your dreams at your fingertips That's true. because you could live there, not yeah. like now where it's so far away. Tell me about how you think New York has changed. Well, I think that you, I mean, if you want to be an artist, like, it, it's, it's impossible for you to almost find your dream. You've got to, you know, move out to East Bumblefuck and then commute back and forth, and then you might not still get that piece of apple pie. Well, and if you're thinking about night, an artist like a, a drag queen or yeah. you know a pr yeah. performance artist, it's it's difficult because it's in the middle of the night, and right. we, you know, it's it, we would just go outside our steps and Literally. hail a cab and right we'd there five too. minutes away. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So it is. It's really difficult, and, and you know the rents are. You could move to New York with maybe five hundred dollars in your pocket. Yeah. yeah. Now it's like if you don't have like maybe five million or something like that. <laughs> it's a little exaggerated, but actually not too far off. It's kind of sad, you know, because New York has been built on artists. You know what I mean? It, people come here, they have dreams, but you don't get a chance to have that anymore in New York. Yeah. yeah it's definitely become different. Yeah. And also too, it's like it's become very homogenized and. Um, uh, like if someone were to steal my handbag, I couldn't pick them out in a lineup because they all look so the same. Gentrified. Right. Totally gentrified. Yeah. It was so colorful and interesting and fun back in the day, you know. And the East Village was so yeah. crazy and edgy yeah. and scary, but 
fabulous and fun and exciting. Yeah. And it's different now. Yeah, it is. You know, it's just, it's, I mean, it's still New York. I still love yeah, New York. I mean, hello. It's still amazing. But, but when you talk about deal. then and now, it's like, yeah. yeah, I will never be a jaded New Yorker. I will always love my city. Uh -huh. But, you know, it was magical then. I don't understand how you can progress to something and then digress in other areas. You yeah. know, like, for instance, like, the, the Orange Cheeto who is in office. Like, mm -hmm. how can we go from the era of class that was in there beforehand? <laughs> like, and that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, now. progression and then progression. Yeah. It's like, mm. Honey. So, same thing with the East Village and... Um, New York. There was a sense of innocence back then about, for even though we weren't doing very innocent things, it was like, uh, the, what? What, what magical <laughs> adventure you could have. Uh, me? You don't know my no, life. No, no. I mean, I, I'm busy. I'm so busy to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Regulated, like yeah. when we would go and do things, we weren't. We we felt like we could do it yeah. without being told no. And you, you had your brothers mean? and sisters bigging you up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like this sisterhood was so major. Yeah. And still is. Like all of us girls, like Sherry Vine, Mistress from Micah, like uh, had a lettuce. Uh, I don't want to miss anyone, but I'm not going to sit here and do everyone. Uh, uh, the barge, you know, like amazing girls, and we're all still very tight. You know, I, that's that's pretty monumental, and all such talented people. Now, what do you think? Uh, do you have a favorite show that you guys did together or a performance <laughs> that comes to mind that, would, you know, would gag the children? Uh, we do this show. It's, we've probably done it 3,000 times. We say we're going to be doing this in Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> 5,010. I mean, serial killer. I mean, it's the big show. We call it the, the big show. show. Yeah. yeah. So I we would do, so. like, um, we would do dialogue over, and this is a kind of like a, always a little soap opera. Like, we had the, the disco beauty show. The Mommy Dearest show. Like, we had yeah. a bunch of them, but the, 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 um, the, the bitch show. show. Oh, that was Remember fun. We, that? Came, we down. came down. down in a. Oh, Matthew and Zaldi um, did those outfits for us. They were like yeah. these bodysuits, and it looked like we were nude. And we had, we did this whole Barbarella theme. Uh -huh. And we were in DC, I think. Yeah. And we had these Mylar jackets over us, and we came down from the ceiling with these harnesses in on us. In a spaceship. In a spaceship. Wow. <laughs> and then, oh, I mean, God. hello. And this is in a uh, year. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, like, progressive kids, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, bring back the spaceship. You should have that everywhere you go. <laughs> I wish I could get on that spaceship and get the hook. Yeah. <laughs> I'm tired. Back to, your, back to your planet, girl. I know, planet yeah, Isla. Planet Isla. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about some more of those other shows. So the Mommy Dearest show, y'all would do... Christina and Joan, or what would you guys do? Yeah. Yeah. No, it was more of a kind of a, um, a takeoff from it. Um, like, we were always can and lean. Well, we'd have right. snippets of the movie yeah, yeah. and right. stuff yeah. like that, yeah. and with music and stuff. Right, so you guys were doing it first, things now that that's a style that these new kids are really picking back up. Well, we also had our own nights, too. Yes. So we, like, would go to work at night in the same outfit. We'd stay in it all night. Mm -hmm. There weren't, you know, drag changes. Uh -huh. And we had to come up with seven or eight numbers mm -hmm. per week at this event and talk in between and actually run your own show, Hello. which is totally not how and it works. And to make us really. the women that we are today to be great business women too, yeah. you know what I mean? You had to do it, you had to hustle. Yeah, totally. And when we traveled, you know, it's like she had things that she handled when we were on the road and I had things that we would handle. Like Candace was always in charge of the lighting. <laughs> we always had good lighting with my sister. <laughs> it's like, girl, get that and amber coin. lighting up and coin and coin. <laughs> and if there was ever any problem with men, I took care yeah. of that. <laughs> she was my, my bodyguard. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, uh, and if there was ever a strip contest, oh. she would win it. So we, if we were short of money, and we, we were, we were in Miami one time, and we had absolutely months. no we money. Were so money. And there was like a five hundred dollar cash prize or something for this like at Prince's place at uh, Glam Slam. Yeah. So I was like, bitch, you're entering you're entering the strip contest. And she's, she's like, like, we gotta okay. eat. I was like, oh. <laughs> and she went on, she's like, kush, kush. <laughs> We won. Oh, the camera won. eating tonight. Where do you want to go? Okay. <laughs> Where's the next place? I know. I need to get she was pimping her sister out. It was so mortifying. But I liked it. I liked it. <laughs> now, what about that time when you both tried to bring your Yorkies on the road? Uh, that was that, that was trip. In Miami. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Now so they were that uh, Couture and Kegel? Is that yes. their names? Kegels. Kiko. 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 She had Kiko. I had Kiko. This is Couture right we here. We couldn't yeah. afford plane tic uh, tickets for the dog. So we were like, you know what? Let's just carry them on. Nobody will notice. Um, and so we had them in their carrier, and we get up to the, the, 
the checkpoint. Um, we're like, well, what do we do? They're going to stop us because we're holding a bag. We need to go through the machine. So we're like, let's just put it through the x-ray. I went let's in just first. just put them through the x-ray. <laughs> so we put the dogs on the x-ray machine, and we, like, walk through, and we are, what? <laughs> and then this woman. She laughed. And I'm over there like this. I'm like, oh, my God, what's going to happen? Are they going to confiscate our kids? And what's happening to my sister? We look over on the screen, and the dogs are like, <laughs> you just see their skeletons. Oh, oh my God. God. That's why they were so special. <laughs> but they lived to be 18 years old, so maybe the radiation yeah. helped. Maybe it did. Yeah. 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 Oh, God bless a little I want to go yeah. through one. <laughs> but then they were so angry at us. They were yeah. like, just go. Yeah, they were saying, so, yeah. Like, oh, see, it works. Hello, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> now, you guys have seen a lot in Clubland. What, can you remember what you think the craziest scene or moment that you've seen separately or oh together. How do you even say that <laughs> in, true. in the it's 90s? It's so hard. hard. <laughs> Sorry, the product placement is falling. Yeah, <laughs> keep it together. <laughs> got to oh, know where it is. Hey, queen! Uh -huh. <laughs> I saw some pretty, pretty crazy things at the vault. Oh, the vault was a good time. Yeah, that was fun. I don't know, for me it didn't seem like it was crazy because that was my norm. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? It's I, not the same. What do you guys scary. think of the, the rise of drag through drag race? I think it's incredible. I mean, it's 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 a world, you know, phenomenon now, and a lot of a certain amount of girls are working a lot. Mm. <laughs> the the one thing about it is that a lot of really talented um, drag artists aren't working as yeah. much anymore because they don't, you know, they're not getting booked. Yeah, it shouldn't. You shouldn't feel like you're not relative if you don't have a certain amount of followers or um, people don't know who you are because you're not uh, publicized as much as a homogenized group. You know, I don't find that to be fair. Um, it's entertainment and art has always been about not doing the same thing. You know, seeing performers performing the same artists and you know accentuating themselves exactly the same is not the school that we came from. But you know? I love or just Rue. as an artist. Oh, no, I'm not talking Rue. about that. I'm I just love talking the show. about over in general. Yeah. Like, you know, just the artistry, you know, it's like you have to be an individual. You have to do the homework and find out about all these amazing obscure songs. Like back in the day, you would hear these girls pull out these songs and you're like, oh my God, or they would even talk to their, their brothers and their sisters from back in the day and find out. Or I don't find like, it. You would get songs from your DJs. Oh, well, DJs. God, totally. Like, like the rarest thing. And bring them live. Came out exactly. And then bring them live. Yeah. It was sickening. What's wonderful about the show, I, I've never seen it. I've seen uh, clips of it before, but is that, you know, it's putting it out there to a whole um, uh, industry of people who never saw it before. And now give it a respect and, and see it as an art. Exactly, yeah. which is beautiful. Which and is beautiful. And some of the girls on there are so talented and amazing. So amen to that. Yeah, mm -hmm. but that's what it should boil down to. Yeah, right. Talented and, and not talented. taking away from the ones who are not seen okay. and on TV. You know what right. I mean? Yeah. Because yeah. they're all amazing girls, and there shouldn't be like a hierarchy. Well, you used to be able to, have to pay your dues, learn your craft, yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. play them yeah, live, yeah, yeah. and then maybe you could achieve a sort of totally. fame. Totally, yeah. And there's or like a whole section of Some of the things are being given to you like a little too early without having to have paid your dues and having that um, strength and all of those struggles that you that make you the person that you become later in life. You know, sometimes just having it handed to you doesn't make you grateful for the experience and kind of removes you from being present with people. Yeah. Now, both of you have been very active as activists and advocates for trans youth, trans women, the whole experience. That must be a very rewarding thing that you're both not only become these incredible, talented stars, but you also are still together supporting young people. Tell me a little bit about both of your your passion for that. I think that definitely because of the way that we were both raised, very the same, and our families are intertwined, <clears throat> that it was a natural progression for the two of us to do that work. It's like all, all we've known. You know, we were doing it before we even knew what it was called, you know? So to be uh, able to do it separately together is everything. And, you know, since we're, we really are a part of a community that's that's very small and mm -hmm. needs a lot of help. That's right. I mean, um, the trans community, is taken the brunt of so much ridicule and especially in this this current administration yeah. stripping our rights one by one um, and you know there's a lot of women out there and men who are trans that don't ha that don't live in Los Angeles or yeah. New York they live in these remote places that have absolutely no support mm -hmm. and so it's really important for us to be vocal about our transition on camera exactly. and also you know tell people uh, the places that they can go to get right. help and um, show the normalcy yeah and and really just show the world how 
fabulous we, we are. Yeah, exactly. You know I mean? That's beautiful. Yeah. Well, speaking of fabulous, I'm hoping I convinced the two of you to perhaps stand up and give us a little bit of that twinsy walk, twirl, uh, twirl, uh, twirl, uh, twirl, uh, twirl uh, walk. Uh, 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 <laughs> can I convince you? Lady Red, do you think they'll do it? I all think they'll do it. Not <laughs> can you give the children a little treat with a little unified walk and spin? We can do that for you. Yeah. Learn it and learn it well. That little kick at the end, just throw it away with that little kick. What do you mean, a kick? Man, this bitch has got on Louis Vuitton. Bitch, I can't fit that shit. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. That nail with the food is everything. Like I said, Lady Red's ready with the snacks and the nail helps. Right? <laughs> uh, Candice, Lena, thank you guys so much for being thank here. You. Always so such a pleasure. pleasure to see you and to see you together. Mm, my dreams are coming true. You're nasty. <laughs> uh, you guys have turned it so fiercely that you both snatched trophies. Oh, my God. Need a snack, both of you, so you've also won lap dancers!